A health alert tonight, colon cancer on the rise among younger generations. Let's get right to our chief health editor, Dr. Parthen Andy. And boy, this is concerning and should be to a lot of people. It really is. You know, and I'm not completely surprised regarding the new study because I'm treating younger and younger patients in my office who sadly been diagnosed with colon cancer. Despite the fact that colon cancer rates have dropped for people over the age of 55, the American Cancer Society has found younger adults born in 1990 and later have twice the risk for colon cancer and four times the risk for rectal cancer when compared with someone who was born in 1950. Wow. So, Doc, we know there's a lot more um, sitting around, screen time, sedentary behavior with Absolutely. the younger generation. Is this related or why is this happening? That's a great point. You know, we're not really sure about why younger people are getting these cancers, but studies are showing the association between increased risk for colon cancer and a typical Western diet. That is high in fat, low in fiber. Other risk factors are smoking, eating meat, and obesity. And, and the recommended age for colonoscopy is 50. So many people, young people, ignore symptoms thinking eh, it's an old person's disease. Mm. I know, and you have to continue getting those tests. So what are your prescriptions for Absolutely, people? I always have them. So avoid the weight gain around your midsection as it's been linked to, to colon cancer. Be sure to also eat plenty of vegetables, fruit, and whole grains diets. High on these have been linked to lowering the risk of colon cancer. Also avoid or limit processed meats like hot dogs and lunch meats. I'm talking to my sons right now. Mm -hmm. If you have family history of colon rectal cancer or polyps, please talk to your doctor about getting screened early. Mm. And what are the symptoms of colorectal cancer? That's a great question, Linda. Yeah. So a lot of people ask me, in many patients, there may be no symptoms, but please look at changes in your bowel habits like constipation, diarrhea, blood in the stool, rectal bleeding, or persistent abdominal cramping. You can have gas or pain. If you're experiencing any of these, please go right away to see your doctor, get screened, and we can prevent this disease. Oh, yeah, we certainly can. Good to know. Thank you so much, Dr. Oh, well, my Dan. pleasure. All right. All right, if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. Well, coming up